All right, so he's soon him playing some more Nova Drift. Let us see where we can go to today. Should I try missiles again? Let's go flak instead. Flak's a good general purpose weapon. Siphon shield, sure. I've done enough carriers lately. No, that's a possibility. Let's try Firefly. See where that gets us. Take increased hull strength. Let's see if we can get a burn build off the ground here. The Firefly body does damage to enemies with its engine thrust as well as its weapons. So things like Deadly Wake are a natural complement as well as incandescence for increased burn damage. Can I give up my weapon already? I mean that's committing. Let's commit to the build. No idea if this is a smart idea. It probably is not, in fact. But we're gonna burn things with our engines, or maybe damage things with our shields. We're not going to be firing our weapons or using our constructs. And every now and again, we'll probably ram things as well. As you can tell, the little yellow damage numbers are burn damage numbers instead of my white weapon damage numbers. Armor plating is good. Crash damage or force armor. Let's go with that. Weapons don't matter to us. Juggernaut or regeneration? Let's go with regeneration. We want to increase that whole regeneration. Efficiency, yeah, that increases our shield and hull regeneration when we don't fire our weapon, which will be all the time. <laughs> Go for shield increases. Sure. Crash damage bonuses? Corrosive stacks. Sure. It applies corrosive damage to targets, igniting them. When they die, it delivers stacks to nearby targets. Good for taking care of a lot of those smaller enemies when they spawn in. Shields, sounds good to me. Didn't think those orbs would ever appear <laughs> or pull into me. <laughs> Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Blink, blink is not bad here. Let's just go with better shields though. Getting blink after I get enough defensive bonuses. Uh, 
Oh, I could try. Or I could just get Scorching Wake, do more damage with my engines. Let's try Last Stand. I, I almost never give it a chance. And it probably won't work out this time, but yeah. We'll give it a go. Yeah, these things are not well designed to fight me in this form. Purification. More burn damage, more ignite duration, and more hull and shield recovery for each ignite enemy. I have no weapon, so I don't care about weapon damage. It's a bit too aggressive on that one. Thrust can be nice. On the other hand, it sometimes is very hard to control. Orbs of Discord. You know I love them. I have to take those. And it gives me a way of damaging enemies without having a weapon, or using my engines, or shield. Just another way of putting out a little extra damage. I don't want streamline here. I don't think I want to remove my shield. I put too much into it. More radius? I think I just take more armor. Armor will be good. Hmm. Conversion. Maybe later. Focus shield, more power, armor stacks. Go with better shields for now. It means my shields don't have quite as big of an effect, but there they do affect. They do a lot more. I like this, I do not like that. I don't like that either. I do like that. More damage the faster I move. Considering I'm using my engines as a weapon, that can help out. Weaponized shields? Sure. I get so slow down my thrust a bit. It helps me control my movements a little better than they would have otherwise. Mm, this. Channeling for better armor stacks or better rotation? Let's go with channeling for now. Increase my survivability even more. doesn't matter since I have no such creatures. I may want to reroll. I may just want Scorching Rake here. Make my engines a little bit more powerful. At least in terms of damage dealing. All right, 
right then. Better rotation, yes. Again, gives me a little bit extra control. far more smoothly than I expected it to. Try to get rid of them. Try to get rid of you. Get rid of you. Alright then, so far so good. to strafe and get more thrust or rebuke for armor stat duration. Let's go with strafe. Should not have taken that thrust boost. <laughs> Already hard enough to control. And now I'm making it even more challenging. Ah, there's apotheosis. Less hull and shields by no longer collide with enemies. Sure. Now I will still collide with weapons. <laughs> weapons still damage me. So I do have to watch out for that, but now I won't get bounced around by enemies as much. Oh, I will also be impacted by things like shields and the splinters from the mines. So I do have to watch out for that. Just the hull of enemy ships themselves that will no longer affect me. Do the rebuke. Again, just to increase my armor stat duration, which increases my regeneration speed. shielding, more hull, more damage resistance, and more shields. It's just a nice little package altogether. You do have to watch out for these mines though. They will kill me. As well as those little sparks. I'm not going to do crash damage to the enemy anymore, so hypermetabolism maybe for greater regeneration. I lose 15% max hull and shields, but I get much faster regeneration for it. Let's say we can take one of those. Take a celestial lance, perhaps. Sure, I can take one. Do more damage to enemies now when I move at high speeds. If I take self damage, 
However, I've put in modifiers to do take less self damage anyway, so hopefully that will all even out. And I won't just kill myself. to my parlor said the spider to the fly. Oh, we don't want you around. I don't want you around either. Mm, celestial Surge, while using Celestial Lance, stabilization slows you abruptly and causes you to launch a burning, burning orb forward. I rarely say that, but in that particular case, you help me out. Emergency systems. If my shield breaks, I get a very brief reprieve from taking damage. Could be handy. Especially if I can keep a high regeneration weight. A high regeneration will mean my shield will come back, which means more emergency systems more quickly. is not as great as I thought. I might want to use that more often. Uh, dare I go that far? Dying star. Ignite everything nearby. You do more ignite uh, duration and burn damage. But I constantly take 11 points of self damage. Increase proportionally to the proximity target and missing hull and shields. Oh boy, in for a penny, in for a pound. Now everything nearby me takes damage. Just passive damage all the time. At the cost of me taking passive damage all the time. So it's a bit of a trade off, but as long as they die faster than I do. number we're getting there. <laughs> we're trying to see who can do more burn damage to the other more quickly. I think I might win that one this time. I am specifically built for that. And with Apotheosis I literally just run into the enemy. I don't even get hit by them. Now this, I no longer do crash damage, but just instantly killing a target at 12% of their hull, not too bad. I think I want the improved shield cooldown even more though. Once again, that helps with my emergency systems. If my shield breaks, I get a faster regeneration period after a brief period of invincibility. Hopefully I can get my shields back up and keep on keeping on.
Dying Star take care of those mines for me. Dying pretty much as quickly as they appear. Again, Dying Star really helping me out here, taking care of a lot of these small enemies for me. Don't have to bother with them. Well, I can focus on larger prey. Ooh, we do not want you. Alright. Volatile shields. When my shields break, they release a burst of energy, plus I get max shield increases. Bad. <laughs> Until you die. Hmm. A fun build overall, but I should have been a bit more defensive, taking some more shield upgrades, I think. Still, a good demonstration of that type. Thank you all for coming by.